I wake up at o dark 30 while my boyfriend slips out to go to the gym, but that's far too early, so I snooze a bit before forcing myself into action. I put on my slightly too tight exercise clothes and find a workout video on my favourite fitness YouTube channel. Then I make a list of tasks for the day, mostly full of ordinary things like take out the recycling and tidy the hall. So I take care of some of those, then go to pick up a reserve book from the library. I am now unemployed. It's the first time I'm between jobs for three years, and I'm feeling a little strange. It's not unexpected. I handed in my notice with the intention of having a break, but even so, now I'm here, shifting from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. It's odd. Stretching ahead of me are six days here in London, then a week in Wales. After that, perhaps, I'll be back to work again. I don't know yet. However long it ends up being, this gap is something I needed. It's about all of those things on the to-do list. Reorientating my life so that work is a part of it, not the whole of it, and ordinary things have time to get done. Taking care of the plants, tidying the house, making nice dinners. Making time to exercise so that my exercise clothes do fit properly. And writing. Writing has been a hobby for me for years. I've been almost finished with my current project for months. So the next few days, I'm finally going to push through the last of the edits and get it into a shareable shape. As I walk across the park to the library, and later typing on my laptop, working on that story, I think about choices. There's a well-known story about filling a jar with stones, small pebbles and sand. If you put the bigger things in first, the sand will fill in all the gaps around them. But if you do it the opposite way, not everything will fit. With this break, I've emptied out my jar to refill it the way it needs to be, with my hobbies, life, friends and family as the important bits. Sometimes you have to trust yourself and make a change. I trust myself in this. It might feel strange and uncertain at the moment, but it also feels very right.